Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. So the Hextech Revolver no longer gives spell vamp and now it gives on your basic attacks with a 40 second cooldown just adds bonus magic damage, 75 to 150. So it all, and it's also reduced cost, 1200 to 1050. And it seems just like a good buff to me. Like 12% spell vamp wasn't really something you wanted to build early. Like sometimes you'd want it like super later or in some specific champions, but having this extra shock damage every once in a while on the auto attacks is something that basically everybody would want, especially for laning phase. So the Hextech Gunblade, the active is renamed the Lightning Bolt and it does more damage now with a slightly less AP ratio. And the slow cooldown was increased to 40 seconds now. So it seems just like a pretty small buff to it, I think. It's just a 100 more damage on the base and then a loss of 10% AP ratio. So it's just a slight buff. The other new Hextech item is the Hextech Protobelt 01. And the main benefit of this one is that it gives you a small dash. It's a dash that doesn't go over walls and is like maybe half a flash or maybe even a little bit less. But it's something that champions certainly will want like annie definitely wants something like this there's a lot of champions who need this kind of quick mobility to kind of get in there and do stuff that will really want an item like this and after the dash it also shoots out like a little nova of firebolts that do a small nuke of 75 to 150 and gives 0.35 ap ratio which is you know also quite nice i think it's going to be the most commonly built of the hextech items for certain champions such as like annie fiddle uh, I don't know, there's going to be plenty of champions that want it. Hextech Protopelt builds out of a Hextech Revolver and a Kindle Gem. And me, most AP mages don't really want the Kindle Gem. I think the new Hextech Revolver, since that has changed, is something that, that they'll be fine building. And on the champions that do want it, I think they'll want it enough that even though it gives them, you know, not pure AP, it gives like 60 AP, 10% CDR, 300 HP. I think it'll still be good enough that they'll, they'll still want to like build it first. Like especially Annie will want to build this first. And even like... I think a decent amount of support champions will want this as well, just because these are the stats that they want, HP, Ability, Power, CDR, and having a dash on supports helps out a lot for a lot of different supports. The Catalyst builds into the, the first new Hextech item called the GLB, GLP 800, and the main benefit of this is it's a big AP item that has an active that shoots out these four ice bolts that kind of start by shooting kind of outside of the right. They shoot in like a, almost like a, a small Nova in front of you, going right to left and slowing them and dealing damage and i'm not sure what to think about it just seems like kind of a kind of like very similar to the old spell thief active where you just shoot out like a slowing damaging thing in front of you so it's just like another kind of like new chase thing that's kind of cool so lost chapter is a new item that is an ap and mana item that gives you a passive of when you level up you get 20 percent of your max mana over three seconds which Personally, I don't really like that kind of thing. I would rather just be, you know, like a mana over time item. Just because, I mean, that's basically what it is. It's just a AP flat mana mana regen item, but it's put into when you're leveling up, which I feel is just too like you always level up, but you can't really control when you're level up in the game. You're never like, yeah, I'm gonna time my level up to be this time. So Morello is increased by 500 gold. It gives 20 more AP, and instead of mana regen, it gives flat mana 400, and now. It also gives the, when you kill an assist, you get 20% max mana, so it's taking like the, the passive from but the other, the other Morello-like item, taking it over. So it's basically taking over that kind of effect. And it's basically the item you want if you want a ton of mana and CDR. And it seems like it'll fit that pretty well. Like it, it'll, it gives a lot of AP now, 100 AP, it gives a ton of mana, a ton of CDR. And Morello will randomly be useful against certain champions. I, I kind of think it's weird that it's on this item, since like some people want that but a lot of people will just build it for everything else. So it's, it's just, I, I don't know. It just seems weird that they just have all these random things that don't really synergize on this one item. So for Abyssal Scepter, they nerfed the AP by 10, uh, increased the MR by 10, and gave it 10% CDR. And they changed the passive as well. The passive now reduces the MR of enemy champions only to 10 to 25, depending on the level. So the first thing is the biggest change is the passive. I think it was an overall nerf. Like a pretty big nerf as well, because the early game magic puns reduced by a lot, and that's when it was the most strongest. And before, when you rush abyssal, you can get it at like 10 minutes, and you'll have a flat 20 magic pen. But right now, if you would rush it, you'd probably get like 15 or something, which is just a lot less. And they give it 10% CDR. I think this opened up like different build paths for other champions. Probably change 
kind of run set up you if you're gonna run if you're playing APs. Probably don't need as much CDR scaling for level, and you can just go flat AP instead. Because if you build like um, Barella Namicon or something, or something that gives like 20% CDR, and then you can also get Abyssal as well, you'd have 30%. If you're running scaling CDR, you pretty much already have max, and if you get blue, then you're like caps. So, so because Abyssal now gives 10% CDR. A lot of people are running scaling CDR per level on uh, mages and just like AP champions. And if they're looking to build Abyssal because they have like a hard, different lane matchup, that's like they have to rush it, then they might have to change their runes up because if you have scaling CDR, 20% CDR item, like Nashers or Rolling Upcon or Thienes, and you get Abyssal as well, you're just gonna have too much CDR overall, especially with blue buff. So instead of that, people are gonna be running AP per level, flat AP, stuff like that. MR just to make everything more efficient. I think uh, with the changes uh, might be a really good item for support. Um, the cost is actually not that high now and it provides everything that a support need, especially the peeling supports that benefits a lot from AP ratio or AP. Uh, for example, if you're playing Janna, Karma, uh, Soraka, all the uh, spells that are shields or heal um, will be really beneficial for uh, your team. So you're gonna deal damage in team fights no matter what because you have like spells to deal damage or to slow people or to deny spells, and then uh, you are going to protect your team anyways by shielding or healing and. The utility you're going to bring is gonna be even more crazy. So it's going to be really good on range support, especially. The champions that will benefit from the Athens uh, buffs would be range champions that can peel or have any utility uh, utility spells, such as Janna, Karma, Zoraka, and even Bard, because he deals a lot of damage. So he will be able to charge a lot and his spells will be, uh, his heals will be really insane. Catalyst is name changed to Catalyst of Eons, and now it's no longer gets the health and mana when you level up, and instead gets mana when you take damage, and when you spend mana, you get health. So it's it's this weird, like, when you're, like, trading, you kind of get more health and mana. The, the more ra- the longer you're there, like, trading and doing stuff, the more efficient this is going to be. And I, I think it's kind of a cool change. I kind of like the, how this works out, where, um, like, if you have blue buff and you're casting a lot of mana and just ca- spamming spells you're going to be getting a mo- lot of hp as well so it's going to be even more important to have blue buff on the person who's building this it seems like very much a, a mid lane centric item <laughs> but I-, I like it I-, I don't really care for the level up thing before i, I think that's kind of uh, too random i would say so regarding the uh, the quicksilver um you won't be able to uh cleanse the ultimates from the assassins for example Zed, Fizz, so it will probably come down to having an exhaust to be able to survive. Alright, so they're removing all boot enchants. I think they're basically doing this just to kind of, like, a little bit make more simplification to the game. Like, they don't want, like, too many options in the shop that just don't really matter. And boot enchants aren't that impactful right now. Personally, I I would prefer if they were in the game because it is some more choice that kind of gives you an option to get a slight advantage just in how you're itemizing, but I don't think it's a big deal and if they keep adding items, they're eventually going to have to start removing some and this is fine. And that's it for this Pro Patch Breakdown. Thanks for watching and for more League of Legends content featuring the pros, make sure to visit lowclass.com.